I work uh, for the Ministry of Education and uh, I'm an education officer so my primary responsibilities lie in supporting school boards in Ontario in the implementation of the First Nations, Métis and Inuit education policy framework. And uh, there are six of us across the province who do that work uh, in a regional setting. So myself, I support the Toronto region and I have colleagues in the Ottawa region, Thunder Bay region, London, Sudbury, North Bay. Uh, as well as the Barrie region, who do the same work as myself. Our target audience is all provincially funded school boards and school authorities within the province of Ontario, and we primarily service uh, students from grades K to 12 uh, as part of the lifelong learning continuum. So in the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit Education Policy Framework, um, in that document it lays out a vision where uh, we talk about learning for Indigenous education in sort of three capacities and, and, the, and the aim or the, the vision of this as you've alluded to is one that we want to ensure that uh, students are successful in their elementary uh, and secondary school experience. Um, the second part of that uh, leading to potentially uh, a position in the workforce or into post-secondary uh, we want to ensure that within that vision we have entities of culture and tradition where students get to know themselves and get to uh, obviously uh, learn from others in that learning environment. And, and thirdly, I think within that vision, uh, we, we definitely want to see um, that Indigenous education is about all students uh, in the sense that we want all students to have a, an appreciation and a knowledge for uh, indigenous traditions, cultures, perspectives, and ways of knowing the world. You know, the fact that we have a policy that drives um, indigenous education in the province of Ontario, that is what, uh, in terms of our area of influence, that is what the excellence is, is that we have policy that reflects that. For the First Nations Métis and Indian Education Policy Framework, um, within that document it sets out uh, parameters in terms of how we measure and report um, the evidence of movement uh, with respect to the strategies that are indicated in the framework. And so this is done every three years. Um, so we're currently coming up to our third progress report that will, re will be released here shortly in the spring of 2018. And all of those documents are publicly available on the Ministry of Education website. What is Indigenous education? So for myself, um, that's, that's a big question because Indigenous education for, for me as an individual is a multitude of interconnected entities. Um, with the first entity being um, that Indigenous education must be about the student achievement and student well-being of, of all Indigenous learners in the province of Ontario. So I think the, the second entity in terms, of, uh, uh, in terms of your question relates to the fact that uh, we, we want to see um, Indigenous knowledge and ways of knowing and perspectives and pedagogies introduced into our classes and to be taught in a good way. So I think that you know we want to have student student success and student well-being, but we also need to see that knowledge um, being embedded into classrooms in a in a good way. I think um, Indigenous education uh, is is again about all students and all. Educators, all individuals who are involved in the school board system, um, and why I say this is because I think uh, you know we we want to see educators uh, with the capacity to teach um, these important uh, important history, but also the contemporary contributions. I think it's about uh, a moral and ethical responsibility that educators have to teach the truth in Ontario. Um, the fact that the education system is certainly part and parcel, um, uh, plays a heavy role in some of the major challenges that we see in communities today through residential schools. Uh, I think so. I think that's very important in terms of um, what is Indigenous education. But I also see Indigenous education as a tool for um, exposing um, the resiliency of Indigenous people and communities. Um, and I think that when we think of it in that way where we're talking about truth, we're talking about responsibility, and we're talking about resiliency, um, I also see education, Indigenous education, as a tool for reconciliation um, in the fact that we want to have everybody in the education system playing a role in both the learning and teaching, but also the creation of safe environments uh, where schools are seen as 
places of learning, but also places of healing. Um, and I think community plays a very important role in this as well. And that uh, communities can be in the school uh, as a part of the learning environment, um, can be delivering teachings to students. Um, and again, it's all within that same vein of healing where I see um, your big question of what is Indigenous education. I think much of it has to do with healing. My vision of Indigenous education, again, includes a variety of different uh, entities. Um, I think the first one is that we want to see, or that I would like to see in terms of that vision, is that uh, we have communities working in full partnership uh, with school boards uh, to develop the, the steps and the ways forward. Uh, I think I, when I think about 10 years from now, I think about a curriculum that is inclusive of uh, Indigenous stories, of Indigenous experiences, uh, but also a curriculum that um, celebrates and honors and pays, uh, and pays attention to our knowledge systems, not just as historical people, but that we have knowledges in the sciences, that we have knowledges in geography and in mathematics. We have ways of knowing the world, and I would like to see that as a part of our 10-year vision. I think at the end of the day, um, as I alluded to earlier, we talked about uh, schools as being places of healing. And I think, uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, having community involved in the planning and the implementation of this vision for 10 years from now is important. But I think it's also vital that we see Indigenous people in leadership positions, where we see um, elders, knowledge keepers, and, and, and those who hold community knowledge in the classroom, um, either as a, as a teacher or as a community member coming in to provide authentic voice and learning. Um, and I think what this, all of those entities, when we tie them all up together, my, my vision for Indigenous education in the future really is rooted in um, a concept of reconciliation, that we can use education um, to inspire and to instill values in young people who will continue to make gains for our society as a whole and to and to instill them with the values that allow us to travel down this journey of reconciliation together to get to whatever that destination may be in, in reconciliation. But to me, education is part of the journey of reconciliation. I think uh, over the next 10 years, that's where I'd like to see this all going to. Well, I think to achieve that vision, um, what that's going to take is a continued emphasis around partnerships, co-creation with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit organizations, um, communities, parents, um, families to make that vision thrive. And uh, uh, that's what I see is the ultimate uh, thing that we need to achieve that vision. Um, because at the heart of all of this, at the heart of everything is we want students to thrive in education. And uh, it's, it, the ministry can provide, in terms of the Ontario ministry, we can provide the, the mandates to do that in school boards, but it's important for us in terms of the creation of that, that it be done with Indigenous people. So that's how I see that, that vision playing out over the next 10 years.